the international community shuns us because we don't have a legitimate government in power, says Okonkwo. A lawyer and spokesperson of the Obidati Presidential Campaign Council, Kenneth Okonkwo, has faulted the ruling Tinubu administration and alleged that international bodies disregard Nigeria for not having a legitimate government in power. Okonkwo, who was speaking during an interview with Trust TV, made this known while reacting to the ongoing protests by the Nigeria Labour Congress, NLC, as regards the lingering economic crisis. According to him, when people are left with no option, they will have to fight to breathe, and they were the ones who said, let the poor breathe. In Nigeria, it has become a fight for survival, not progression. There's no more food to eat. There's no more transport to take them to their workplace, and there's no more social life. This regime succeeding another terrible regime, all from the same party, has destroyed the economic system of this country. They have ruined it. They have destroyed the political fabrics. The social well-being of Nigeria has been radically destroyed. And our political economy is practically non-existent to the point that when Nigeria talks, even in the international community, they tell us to sit down because we cannot produce a legitimate government in power. So we do not have the power to tell other or another government that it is illegitimate. It has come to the point where Nigeria is now a mockery in the international community. The saddest part of is that it is a com country that God has so blessed with human resources and capital and materials to make it a superpower nation rather than the poverty capital of the world. This is a leadership problem and unfortunately it is getting worse. Okay, show you and your party. I hope you are reading this every day. They all came for inauguration despite the fake propaganda. Did you know that they are gaining more from Nigeria? You can't fault all this said because you are simply enjoying your safe among millions suffering Nigerians. Hide yourself and be shame. You can't manage your loss. The world accepted in and we are moving on. If the government is legitimate, why are we in courts? Talking about a cancelling election and rerun, you people are devil incarnate since you are liars and no truth in you. Everything happens inside brain. This drunk think Nigeria does not have a legitimate government. It happens inside his brain. U.S. as your obi kind in Trump, till now Trump still believes he was rich. So U.S. as your kind. You are right. It is in the brain, and I have just seen that you have none. Kenneth Okonkwo was one of those who fought Jonathan government to install APC and Baba Buhari in 2015. He pulled out when he was not given any position. He would have remained in APC if he was appointed a position. Appointed to a position. When did this guy graduate from law school three years ago and acting as if he is a learned lawyer, a baby lawyer telling Nigerians lies and propaganda? Well, there's no problem about that. This man is not serious. Continue living in bondage of self deceit. Shown us some people can lie. This Okonkwo is the marketing Labour Party and Obi with his low level intelligence and utterances to national issues. Tinubu is illegitimate president and Kenneth Okonkwo is 100% right. Now that the NLC has called off the protest, what test should we be expecting from you? The bitter heart. You call yourself a lawyer, a president that was sworn in by the Chief Justice of the Federation is illegitimate. All the legitimate process of transfer of power was accomplished accordingly and yet you are calling the government illegal. May God help you that you are not sued for desecrating this government. Well, why would somebody come to national or come on national TV and start telling like a legal petitioner for that matter? You just open your mouth and spill whatever comes out from it. When did he graduate from law school? It is about three years ago and acting as if he's a real lawyer. Hey, okay, well, the man is right. If you don't like it, go to court. Of course, they're already all in court. I support you on this, Kenneth. Lie, lie. Exactly. Some people might believe it. Some people might not believe it. But one thing that is 
pertinent is that is the the aftermath of this whole thing yes the aftermath which everybody is how would i put it everybody is, is experiencing and there's nobody that is not a choppy wutu wutu breakfast mm -hmm. you can say whatever you want to say whether you like it whether you don't like it but one thing is sure you go back to your closet and begin to experience what everybody is experiencing as well that's it so guys what do you think let's know in the comments section